Good evening, guys. How are you? Good How evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you today? I am okay. How about you? Tired. I'm okay, but a little bit tired. I work today wow. in the morning. Oh, you are tired. Yeah, I'm tired. A little bit. Okay. But I'm but ready. It's Friday. Friday. It means you will rest tomorrow all I, day, right? I, I, I work tomorrow. Really? Yes. Wow. So you in, are in a super man, right? <laughs> I have to. I have to be okay. I have to be strong. Strong. Okay. Uh, you don't work tomorrow. No, it's my day free, my free day. Envy. Yes, I yes. That's really good. You rest tomorrow, and Sundays. Yes, Sunday okay. is my principal day to rest because oh. tomorrow is the day I had chose chosen to do my my. Sure. Your shorts. Uh huh. Uh -huh. My shorts. Okay. okay. Hey, that's great. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And the rest, what can you say? If you see, that's what we are going to speak about in this occasion how you spend your day. So, how do you spend your day? That's the question. Mm -hmm. What do you usually do? What's your routine? Your daily routine? I sleep, teacher. Uh -huh. But not every day. I mean, your daily routine, let's say during weekdays, on weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What do you do? How do you spend? Mm -hmm. um, I am cool. Um, watch TV. Mm, but I uh, know. Eh, ah, you care for patients. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. If you notice, I it's have. Flu. Oh? Um, gripe? Flu? Flu? ¿Cómo flu. se dice? Flu, flu. ¿verdad? Flu. Oh, okay. Yeah, the flu or cold. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. This is something that you have been practicing on the platform, right? Jobs, different jobs. And there you have some examples. Fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, lumberjack. But these are popular jobs in the United States. What are some popular jobs in El Salvador? Popular jobs in El Salvador. Mechanics? Nurse? Account. 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 Accountant. Doctor. A doctor. Lawyer. Lawyer. Yes. Chef. Yeah. I want to be a chef. Me too. 
It's interesting. Cashiers. Which one? Cashier. Policemen. Police officers, policemen. And there you have some others. Salesperson, chef, flight attendant, carpenter, receptionist, and nurse. Cosmetologists. Okay, yes. That's very common. Uh -huh, very common in El Salvador. Yes. Barbers. Mm -hmm. If you notice in this exercise, we are going to connect. We have hairdresser. Hairdresser. Hairdresser, yes. Hairdresser. Or dressmaker. Oh, no, no. Hairdresser. Or hairstylist. Uh-huh. Yes. We're going to do this exercise. We're going to connect the job, the activity, and the place. For example, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. We're going to connect. So we're going to make complete logical sentence. A salesperson sells clothes in a department store. What about the next? The chef. Chef, chef cooks food for in, in a restaurant. That's correct. A chef cooks food in a restaurant. Good. Next. Mm, a flight attendant. Flight attendant service passengers for an airline. For an airline. I yes, know. that's correct. A flight attendant serves serves passengers for an airline. Good. Next. A carpenter. Carpenter. A carpenter builds house in a for a construction company. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good, that's correct. Next, a receptionist. In office. Mm -hmm. But the activity, a receptionist answers the phone. Answers the phone. Answers the phone in an office, right? A receptionist answers the phone in an office. Yeah. Okay. The last one. Nurse. A nurse cares for patients in a hospital. Yep. Good. A nurse cares for patients in a hospital. Good. Mm -hmm. New words, new vocabulary, new expressions. Okay. Let's see. Let's practice. Police, policia. Police officer. Police, uh -huh. Police officer. And this is more a uh, vocabulary. And we have four categories: office work, food service, travel industry, entertainment, business. In office work, we have company director. More examples in this category, office work. Website designer. Website designer, yes. More. Website designer. Receptionist. Mm, yes, receptionist. 
receptionist, website company designer, director, director, company director. Yep, very good. Food service. We have server. Chef. Chef. I think it's the only one. Probably. In a food service, we can, we can have a server, we can have a receptionist. And we can have a cashier and Ginger? a chef. Which one? Singer. Who's serving? Singer. See? Sí? Can be. It's can be. There are sometimes there are singers in, in, in restaurants, right? Yes. And in this one I forgot to include chef, but in food service we have chef. Travel industry. We have flight attendant, flight pilot. attendant, pilot, pilot, tour guide, tour guide, which one? Mechanical automobilist. Oh, it can be, but in this case, we are selecting from the list, the list that we have in the column. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's move to entertainment business. We have dancer, musician, musician, and singer. singer. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And we have more, right? But this is, or these are the ones that we have in the list. And then we have this conversation. Conversation, where do you work? And let's see. Uh, ahora yo voy a entrevistar a algunos. Let's see, I'm going to Nevi. I'm going to interview Nevi. What do Good you evening, do? Teacher. Good evening. What do you do, Nevi? A donde voy, me dicen. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? No. What do you do? Do. No, no, no le. No sé si. ¿Qué estás haciendo? No. Mm, not exactly. ¿A, a, ¿A qué te, te dedicas? Dedica? Yes. ¿A qué, ¿Qué hace? ¿A qué, ¿Qué se dedica? What do you do? Si se acuerdan, vieron esto. Esto es un repaso de la WH question. Y se acuerdan que hay una unidad, una sección que se llama What do you do? Donde también ven profesiones. Y esa es la pregunta para la, 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 lo que uno, a lo que uno se dedica, ¿no? Eh, what do you do? Literal es ¿qué haces? Pero al interpretarla es ¿a qué te dedicas? What do you do? Entonces ahí comenzaba la respuesta. Oh, I am a teacher. I am a student, I am a nurse, I am a chef, I am an actor, okay? Mm -hmm. And now, what do you do? I am a teacher. You are a teacher. Mm, when do you work? Um, Mathematica. Mathematica. Mathematics. Mathematics, okay, interesting. Mathematics. Uh, where do you work? I am Ciudad Arce. No, I am, I am Gore Ciudad Arce. Okay. What time do you start work? 
seven o'clock uh, eleven o'clock. And finish at eleven. You finish at eleven. Okay, nice. Interesting. Thank you. Let's see next. What do you do on uh, Carolina Jimenez Lima? I'm housewife. Housewife. Mm -hmm. So, what time do you get up every day? Se quedó congelado un rato. Um, what time? What time do you get up every day? What time? Yeah. What time yeah. do you get up? What time do you get up in the mornings? ¿A qué hora se levanta? Uh, seven o'clock. At seven. What time do you eat breakfast? Fruits. Hmm? Fruits, frutas. Fruit, no. Okay, but what time? What time do you eat breakfast? At nine. At nine. And you eat fruit. Okay. And what do you do after breakfast? Mm, soaps, uh, stick, stick, steak. Steak. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, but listen to the question. What do you do after breakfast? Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. That that's lunch. Probably. Okay, okay. Uh, pay attention to the questions, okay? Another person. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Donde, quien, cuando. Al menos los que veo con cámara encendida. Uh, what do you do, Nuri? I'm a doctor. A doctor. Where do you work? I work for Corte Suprema de Justicia. Okay. When do you work? Uh, a different day. Different times, different schedules. Schedules, in this case, different schedules. Okay. And okay. How, how do you like your job? Mm. Mm. I lie because I am forensic. Interesting. Very interesting. Se me movió. Ya la perdí de vista. Okay. And um, how? How do you get to work? How do you get to work? How um, do you move, travel to work? Ah, uh, in a car. By car. Yes. Okay, cool. Nice. <coughs> the, the last one. Thank you, Nuri. The last one. Ultimo, ultimo. Karen, Xiomara, what do you do, Karen? I'm a quill. Accountant? No, a quillista. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Artist. Nail, nail, nail. nail. Yeah. Artist. Mm -hmm. I do nails. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And where do you work? Where do you work? In my house. Okay, cool. And how do you like your job? How do you like your job? My job, I like. Very much, I suppose. Very much. Okay, yes. okay. Thank you very cool. much. Nice. And what time do you start work? What time do you start? Um, uh, two, three hours per day. Of day. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay. But what time do you start? Start, comenzar. What time do you start? Um, mm -hmm. uh, um, eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. In the morning. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. Ok, ya entrevisté a algunos. Ah, pero estaba buscando Gentleman y solo, solo Cecilio veo con cámara de los Gentlemen. Present teacher, I'm here. Um, gentlemen. Ah, ok. No, yo porque buscaba uh, y luego... Eh, Cecilio estaba en la última página de... No veía con cámara encendida algún caballero, solo Cecilio encontré. Ah, oh, ok, no ya, 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 ya encontré, Álvaro. Ok, cool. Let's practice now this conversation, guys. Let's practice. Um, just give me a second, I'm going to move it. So I need now volunteers, Jason and Andrea. That's the conversation. So, two volunteers. Who wants to be Jason? I'm a teacher. Okay. Andrea? Uh, Anna Carolina. Okay. One, two, three. Where do you work, Andrea? Microphone. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am white. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. White restaurants. Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Very good. Heaven. Nice. Yeah, Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Es como decir el paraíso de las hamburguesas. I'm hungry. I need to go to the kitchen and have some food. Okay. Let's see. Rebecca and Mayra. Rebecca, you are Jason. Please. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you What do you do there? I am gay. I take people on the tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting! Yes, it's a great show. I love it. Um, what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. 
Hamburger heaven. That's nice. Thank you. Now, before we're going to continue with more volunteers, but I'm going to read it, okay? Primero, eh, escucho como andan. Ahora lo leo yo para que escuchen pronunciación e intonación. Y luego seguimos con volunteers. Listen, okay? Oops. Pay attention. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Um, my guide. Um, my guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. You see? Camila and Victoria. You are Camila, Jason. Where, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do, dear? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Wow, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? I, I'm a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Perfect. That was good. Nice. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move on. Let's continue. Let's see. Um, ooh, give me a second. Give me a second. Lazaro and Ledvia. Lazaro, you are Jason. Where do you work, Andrea? I go at Thomas Good Turn. Oh, really? What did you do there? Yeah, my kid, it takes people on a tour, tour to countries on South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes. It's a dreadful joy. I love this. And what do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? I am a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Great. That's nice. Uh, job. Job. Part-time job. Part-time job. 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 Part-time job. Okay. Good. That's good. And let's see. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Elsie and Edgardo. Edgardo, you are Jason. Perfect teacher. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. 
How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Mm. That was really good. Wonderful. I like it. Nice. Someone else? More volunteers? <clears throat> Maria Elena? Karina? Maria Elena, you are Jason, okay? <clears throat> Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Um, a guide I take people on tours to country in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Wonderful. <clears throat> nice. That's one word. Guide. 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 Okay? Guide. Because there are some other that are similar. Guide. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, more volunteers? The last ones? Mm, no. Okay. Um, oh, I I have a question, teacher. Okay. Uh, how do you spell the word guide for chicos or muchachos? And mm. what's the difference? Because when you pronounce it guide, I understand like guide, chico. Okay. Um, good. This one in this conversation is guide, 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 and the other one is guy, guy. Y hay otra, ¿no? Pero se pronuncia distinto. Que no es, no es, no es mala palabra. La palabra gay, que también se parece. Esta es guide, se pronuncia la D, guide, guide, uh -huh. guide. La de chicos es guy, y se deletrea G, U, Y, guy. Hey guys, uh -huh. guys. Y está la otra que es gay, ok. A, mm -hmm. that's the difference. <clears throat> well, Thank you, okay. it's very clear right now. Thank you. All Thank right, you. perfect. More questions? Pronunciation, new words, new vocabulary, something that it's not clear. We are okay. I have another practice in this case. Okay. <clears throat> no, but give me a second. Okay. And this is what we are go we are practicing, right? In this case, questions. We continue practicing questions. Um, w H questions in this case. And this is another like a uh, repetition because you already practiced this in 
I don't know. I don't remember. This is a repaso. The question, what do you do? Where do you work? Where do you go to school? Where does Andrea work? What does she do? And how does she like it? And we're going to practice also the auxiliaries. Do and does. And if you remember, uh, we use does with third person singular. He, she, it. Okay? The other ones we use do. Okay. But this is what we are going to practice. If you remember the question, how do you spend your day? Estamos preguntando, eh, ¿qué haces durante el día? How do you spend your day? Okay? And this is the answer. It's a routine, daily routine. In this case, it is Leslie's day. Again, I'm going to read, you listen, pay attention for pronunciation, intonation. Okay, and later I'm going to ask for volunteers. Para los que quieran practicar la lectura. Listen. Oops. What happened? Okay. It says, Leslie is an easel teacher at Hatney college in london on weekdays she always gets up at about seven o'clock she has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter after breakfast she brushes her teeth and gets dressed and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30. And she starts work at 9 o'clock. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at five o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock. And then she has a cup of coffee Okay, she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Full stop. New words, new vocabulary. Teacher, ¿cómo pronunció radio? Radio. Okay, gracias. Radio, radio. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's practice. Who, who wants to read? Volunteers? Me. Jose. Me. Okay, Jose, Jose. Okay, and then Camila, Edgardo. Uh -huh. Jose, please. Okay, we're going, to, okay. we're going to do something. I'm going to divide. There we have a two paragraphs, okay? So, Jose, read the first paragraph and Edgardo the second paragraph, okay? Uh, uh, two okay. people, okay? 
So the first okay, part I got of it. Mm -hmm. I got it. Uh, Leslie is a is all teacher at Honey at Honey College in London. On weekdays, she always get up about at about seven o'clock. She has a shower, and then she has a she has breakfast with her husband, in Dore. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. And then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at eight and a half. And she starts work at nine o'clock. Well done. That was really good. Thank you. Okay. At about uh, one thirty, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finished uh, work at five o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after school clothes. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening she watches television or sometimes she Listen to the radio. The radio. She likes listen, listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about eleven thirty. Then she reads her book for about an and hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Let's continue to more uh, Camila, the first paragraph, and then Edgardo, the second paragraph. Hasta donde dice nine o'clock, tengo yeah. que terminar, ¿no? Yes, nine o'clock. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Leslie is a still teacher at Hackney College in London on weekdays she always get up about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast she browses her take and get dresses and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at night. And she starts work at nine o'clock. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some food in her office. She finishes work at 5 o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after-school club. She usually has dinner at about 11 o'clock, and then she has a cup of, of coffee. In the evening, she watches television or something. She listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. T-shirt, the microphone is off. Sorry, I'm sorry, I, I was drinking coffee. Um... I, um, it was good. I was telling you that what that was uh, um, you pronounced very well, Edgardo. That's good. And I was asking Ana Carolina, the first paragraph, and Victoria the second. Leslie is an ESOL teacher at Hagney College in London. 
On weekdays, she always get up at about seven o'clock. When she has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and younger. After breakfast, she brushes her the her teeth and gets dressed, and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at eight thirty, and she starts work at nine o'clock. Good, thank you, Victoria. At about one thirty, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at five o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches television or sometimes she listens to music, to, to radio, sorry. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to the bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Mm. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Um, Elsie, the first one. Rebecca, the second. Leslie is an ESOL teacher at Hockney College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up at about uh, seven o'clock. She has a shower and, uh, and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she bruises her dead and gets dressed <clears throat> and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college, be bicycle at 8.30 and she start work at nine o'clock. Nice. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a, sand a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes at work, finishes work at seven at five o'clock and picks pick up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed about 11.30. Then she reads her book about for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at, my, at midnight. Midnight. Nice. The last ones, I guess, Oswaldo and Mayra. You start with the okay. first one as well. Qué párrafo, teacher, disculpa. Okay, uh, okay, Mayra, you start with the first paragraph. Okay. Leslie is an ASO teacher at Hatney College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up at about seven o'clock. She has a shower. Um, then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her dish and has dressed and then, and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college be busy bicycle at a thirty and she start work at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. By bicycle. Mm -hmm. Bicycle. Okay, bicycle. thanks. Radio Swaldo. Uh, 
I guess he's having problems with the microphone. Yeah. Okay. But the time is flying. So I'm sorry. We're going to continue because I have these comprehension questions. Try to remember the information and give me the answer. What does Leslie do? Leslie is a teacher. Good. Where does she work? At the college. College. At the school. Sorry, at the school. At the university. At a university, at a, university, at a college, and where is it? London. London. Okay, good. At Hackney College in London. Mm -hmm. And what time does she get up on weekdays? Five o'clock. No. Seven o'clock. Seven okay. And what does she eat? No, who? Who does she eat breakfast with? With Sandwich. her husband oh, and with, with her daughter. Daughter. Okay. And what does she do after <clears throat> breakfast? She take brushes her teeth. And take a shower. And gets dressed. Uh -huh. dress. And how does she get to work? By bicycle. Bicycle. <clears throat> bicycle. That's correct. And what time does she start work? At nine. At nine o'clock. Good. What does she eat for lunch? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. And food. Food. Yes. And at what time does she have dinner? At seven. At seven. And what does she do after dinner? With a book. Uh, and watch television. Okay. Watches TV <clears throat> or sometimes he listens to the radio. And what time does she go to bed? At midnight. Are you sure? 11. At 11.30. 11. Yes. She goes to bed at 11.30 and then she goes to sleep at midnight. Right? Okay, cool. Because we are uh, practicing questions and auxiliaries do and yes. does. I need right now to volunteers. Vos a ver. Vos a ver. Por eso los compré porque bien me imaginé. And, and uh, you are going to ask me the questions in this case, okay? But obviously, um, you need to switch. You are not going to use just, right? Because you are going to ask me, okay? So, um, Maria Elena, ask me the first five questions. Now you are going to interview me, okay? Ask me the first five questions. Okay, tell me, uh, what time do you usually get up? Uh, I always get up at 4.30 in the morning. Okay, what do you do? What do you put for for breakfast? For breakfast, uh, sometimes I eat pupusas. Sometimes I eat beans, cheese, cream, and eggs with coffee. Okay. Do you I enjoy know. cooking? Yes, I do. Okay, do you go to work by microbus or by motorcycle? I take the bus. 
I take the bus. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Okay. Thank you. Another volunteer. With okay. Some other questions. You can choose these questions, okay? A volunteer. Um, Where do you work? Oh, I work. Yeah, I work at a university in Santa Ana. Five questions. You need to ask me five questions, and you can use these ones. What do you study? I don't study. How do you get to work? I take the bus. Who does you do after breakfast? What do what, you do? Please, what does what do you do? What do you do after breakfast? Okay, what do you do? What do you do after breakfast? Uh, I start work after breakfast. What time do you have dinner? <laughs> I have I have dinner at 10 20 p.m. after your class. What time do you do you get up on weekdays? At 4 30. Early. Very early, every day. Mayra? What do you do after dinner? After dinner, I go yeah. to bed. I brush my teeth and I go immediately to my bed and I sleep. What's that? What time? <laughs> what time do she go to bed? To bed? Me? <laughs> yes. I go to bed around a quarter to 11. Oswaldo? Thank you. Victoria? What do you do on weekends? On weekends? Well, tomorrow I work. I work on Saturdays. On Sundays in the morning, I go out for breakfast and in the afternoon, uh, I play soccer. <laughs> what time do you get up on weekends? On weekends, well, on Sundays, because tomorrow I get up at 4.30. On Sundays, I get up at 5, <laughs> 5 or 5.30. How One. do you like your work? Repeat, please. How do you like of your work? I like it. I like it. It's okay. What do you get up uh, so early um, on Sundays, teacher? Uh, I I am I am accustomed. I'm used to. It's my routine, so I cannot get up later. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a habit. You're a uh, you're a early early bird. Yeah, that's correct. The last one. Do you do you like listen to Nirvana? Yes. I really like Kurt Cobain voice music. I and do. Metallica? That's my favorite. One of my favorites. Guns and Roses, do Iron Maiden. Do you drink coffee? Every day, every time, every second. That's my life. You're a coffee lover. I am. Totally. Coffee runs through my veins. 
Okay. Is instead, instead, blood in your veins uh, runs uh, coffee. Yeah. When I go to the hospital, they put me coffee in, in my veins. No. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Um, oops. Give me a second. We were practicing questions, but I need to take the attendance. It's late. Um, listen to your names. Um, Alvaro Mauricio Canales. Present teacher. Ana Carolina Jimenez. Present teacher. Ana Xiomara Barrera. Present teacher. Brenda Rachel Abrego. Camila Alessandra. <laughs> Cecilio Alberto Valles. Edgardo Ernesto Escobar. Present teacher. Elsie del Carmen Sandoval. I'm here, teacher. Gabriela Abigail Guzmán. Present teacher. Jonathan Adonai Hernández. Present teacher. José Benjamín Torres. Present teacher. José Elido Arevalo. I'm here, teacher. José Oswaldo Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Karen Xiomara Núñez. Present. Karina Yamilet Hernández. Present. Carla Elizabeth Navarro. Present, teacher. Carla Saray Ramos. Present, teacher. Lázaro Alberto Guerrero. Present, teacher. Ledvia Eloida Aquino. Present teacher. Mayra Esperanza Romero. Present. María Elena Miranda. María Present. Jo okay. María José Chavarría. Nevi Isolina Vázquez. Present. Nuri Cecilia Rivas. Present. Rebeca Vanessa Flores. Present. Reina Carolina Bolaños. Susana del Carmen Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ok. Victoria de Los Ángeles Olmedo. Present. Wendy Graciela Castillo. <clears throat> Sorry. Any comment? Any question? <clears throat> Teacher. Yes. Este, me estaba fallando la señal porque no pude conectar. Y lo otro, este, fíjese de que estaba viendo que empezaron a, a calificar los, eh, las, las tareas de la plataforma. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, yo voy a estar trabajando, este los fines de semana la plataforma y voy, le hago el comentario pues porque, porque como tengo entendido que hacen evalúo entre la semana de la plataforma sí el caso es creo que los viernes jueves y viernes es que hacen el reporte uh -huh. entonces por eso si ven en la en los chats constantemente les están recordando no eh, por uh -huh. lo menos hoy pedían que por favor terminaran eh, las secciones porque uh -huh. ese reporte lo, lo cierran hoy entonces uh -huh. ajá, el caso, si lo trabajas fin, fin de semana ok está, está bien, porque tal vez ya la, para la próxima semana vas a ir acumulando lo que se necesita no o sea deben de tener el 80% para uh -huh como el requisito, ¿no? Lo que recuerden. Sí, eh, voy, a hablar con, voy a hablar con mi coordinador para exacto. darle a conocer el, el cómo se llama mi caso, porque no solo en este módulo, sino que yo en los módulos anteriores 
he venido trabajando los fines de semana, Ah, ok, por lo mismo, ok, más, ah, ok. más que ahorita nosotros ya estamos empezando temporada, entonces a veces se me ve dificulta trabajar entre, entre semana, pues entonces la plataforma. Ok, sí, y, y eso, eso es lo, lo, lo bueno, ¿no? Lo indicado, para que ellos sepan, eh, no, ellos no vayan a malinterpretar, porque hay personas que quizás eh, no, no, no están trabajando, ellos se enviaron, de hecho, ahí está el reporte, aparecen en amarillo, algunos están con cero, y eso es, eh, será un problema después. Para esta semana eran las secciones 1 y 2. Justo lo que hemos Uh practicado, las preguntas, eh, las yes, no questions, pero secciones 1 y 2. Pero está bien, -huh. comunicate Ok. ahí para que lo tomen en cuenta. Uh -huh. Claro. Uh Algo más. -huh. Pues creo Eh. que por el momento, en mi caso solamente. Ok. Eh, de igual forma, ¿no? Eh, bueno, la asistencia, bueno, esto es para todos. La asistencia, siempre les recuerdan el... La cámara no es, es bueno, es bueno tener la cámara y bueno, el micrófono cuando se está participando, ¿no? Darle clic al micrófono para aportar y luego desactivarlo, ¿no? Para que no haya interferencia. Eh, con, la, con la participación, bueno... Agradecerles a, 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 a todos quienes participan. Eh, es una ventaja, ¿no? Es lo bueno porque solo escuchar no mucho. No mucho funciona. Creo que lo, lo platicamos en una ocasión anterior, ¿no? Que solo el, 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 el oír, el ver, no mucho. Acá tal vez las mini conversations... Eh, las lecturas, lo que acabamos de hacer, hacer una o dos preguntas al menos para irse mmm, acostumbrando, ¿no? A usar el idioma, ¿ok? Como recomendación. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna otra duda, comentario. No question, teacher. Thank you. Ok, so... Thank you, guys. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your attendance. Thank you for being here. And enjoy the weekend. I will see you on Monday. Okay? Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Everyone, have, have a good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, guys. Thank you, good teacher. Night, guys. Take care, teacher. Thank you very much. The same for you. Enjoy the weekend. Good night. Don't drink too much. Good night. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. Carla. Oh, my back hurts a lot.